Hey YouTube, how's everything? So today I'm gonna show you the Razer Hydra with my setup. As you can see, Portal 2 is running in Ifinity at max resolution, max graphics, max everything. So now this is the traditional control scheme using the keyboard and mouse. As you can see, the crosshair is stuck in the middle of the screen, so you pretty much aim where you look. So if I look to the right, I aim to the right. If I look to the left, I aim to the left and this has been the standard for first person shooters since ever the same is true with the consoles now this has all changed when the Wii came out the uh, PS move where they started to make allow you to aim wherever you want on the screen and also turn around uh, more freely uh, the Razer Hydro comes in and says hey we're gonna try and do it even better so they have created magnetic fields that uh, react with the controller to give more precise um, aiming on PC. So let's just very quickly grab and reach for the controller. As you can see immediately, I am aiming quite accurately. If, I, if you can see I'm moving it so slowly over here. I aim very, very accurately with my right hand. And of course I can do motions like jumping with my left hand crouching and walking forward now I have two analogs uh, as opposed to the PS move which has one analog unfortunately they haven't fully utilized the second analog as you can see it's not, it's not, aim, it's not aiming with the analog so you aim and turn around with this hand and you move with the left hand uh, so let's give this a shot over here okay so this game is actually uh, the expansion of Portal 2, the official expansion of Portal 2, where they have added new features uh, to allow motion controls on the uh, on the uh, same concept of Portal 2. So as you can see, I lifted the cube, but now I can also push it forward, you know, and freely move it on the screen. Okay, and there's a certain limit. This is a limit, so it's actually an arm's reach limit. And I can push it back. So now, usually in Portal 2, you wouldn't be able to do this. Okay. Now, one thing is uh, that's very bad about this controller is uh, the uh, buttons on the screen. There's a jump button and the use button. The buttons are very flimsy, and as you can see, uh, when I was reaching out, I uh, pressed the jump button by mistake. Okay. So let's try to finish this puzzle. I finished it previously. I can't remember it very properly. So as you can see, I have no issues playing with this. It's quite comfortable. It's quite natural to play with these. Actually, should I have done that or not? I'm not sure. I think I should have had uh, should have done that. Hmm. Push this up and then push that. Oh no, I should have done something else. Okay. Come over here, little cube. As you can see, the button, uh, the cage over here is blocking my view for the button. But what I do is that. And again, I jumped while trying to release the cube because the buttons are very flimsy on the Razer Hydra unfortunately otherwise the motion detection is quite great as you can see it is actually a wired controller so that's a kind of downside people say it provides more response time to the controllers but if you see the original technology the six ends or six ends as they call it um, actually show you wireless controllers so I think it's just a um, budget de decision or for example let's call it a cost-cutting decision to make non-wireless controllers whoops and I'm dead yeah that was that was quite embarrassing right there let's get back in the game come on okay there we go back in um, one second there we go there we go press the button there we go reach out 
I go and I'm done with this puzzle. It's actually very, very fun. So when should you buy the Razer Hydro? Again, this is not a full review. This is just a preview and my quick opinion. If you haven't played Portal 2, or if you really, really love Portal 2, I highly recommend buying the Razer Hydra because it comes with Portal 2. And of course, if you already have Portal 2, you can gift it. Uh, and it also comes with the DLC content, the new um, expansion, which I'm playing right now for the motion controls on the uh, PC. Let's give this a puzzle a, puzzle a shot quickly. Now the first part of the DLC, the uh, non-advanced mode was quite short. This is the advanced mode. So if you don't want any further spoilers, just close the video. I'm going to finish this puzzle and show you a bit more of how the controller reacts to my motions. Of course, you can do something like this. Throw it away. Okay. So let's see what I can do over here. There's a button over there. Yep. So it sounds pretty darn simple. Um, yep, so I take the cube. Now previously in Portal 2 without motion controls, there was no way to solve this puzzle. But now I just do this. Okay, hopefully it reaches. Yes, it reached. There we go. Okay. Now again, no way to solve this puzzle without motion controls. So I have to kind of put um, it there. Whoops. That was careless of me. Let's go back and try and put it above. Okay, so I did it wrong. I have to, let's see. I have to actually rotate, as you can see using the free aim, rotate. Okay, let's put it down. There it is, but I need to rotate, so let's rotate a bit and then rotate it a bit. Aha! Okay, solved. Uh, now, I believe I put the right. Okay, I think I know how to solve this. Oh, yeah, I just solved it. Awesome. Yep, solved. Okay. Uh, is this the next level or the same level? Seems like the next level. No, it's the same level. Anyways, no more spoilers from my part. As you can see, turrets Portal 2 in all its gro glory using motion controls. They are quite good. And I think I'm gonna die. Okay. Uh, again, if you don't have Portal 2 or you really love Portal 2, just go ahead, get these controllers. $99, they're really good. Uh, the current games that use this um, style of aiming is Team Fortress 2 and Left 4 Dead 2 and Portal 2. Uh, it supports a wide range of other games but not really in this sense but rather in the sense of uh, the ma uh, traditional mouse, fortunately the mouse doesn't work, the traditional mouse where the crosshair is stuck in the middle and you aim. Uh, the Razer Hydro will allow, allow you to aim but it's, it's pretty much like a mouse and not like this where you can freely aim so only three games right now that uh, use this integrated uh, method so it might not be worth it for some people to buy it because it's $99 anyways if you have any more questions um, if you want to see another game running with the Razer Hydra just post a message on the uh, comment box below